This is the Science Cottage and this video is about simple stoichiometric calculations or in plain English we sometimes just call it mole calculations. Alright, so if you think of the term a dozen, a dozen refers to 12 of anything. 12 pandas, 12 cupcakes, 12 eggs, as long as the term dozen refers to the number 12. A dozen pandas will not have the same mass as a dozen cupcakes, but the number will be the same. You can also have multiples or fractions of a dozen. You can have half a dozen, two dozen, etc. Now, mole is much the same concept. In that it's also a specific number or a group of anything. We usually uh, use a mole to refer to ions, atoms, molecules or electrons. Uh, the number of particles or units in one mole is just much larger than a dozen. It's 6,02 times 10 to the power 23 of anything. And that's also called Avogadro's number of units. Alright, so simple mole calculations that we'll look at in this video is mole and mass, concentration and gas volumes. Right, so in a laboratory, if you need to work with a certain amount of a chemical, it's basically impossible to go and count out a number of moles of a substance. What we can do in a laboratory is we can measure the mass of a substance on a scale in grams we can measure it in kilograms obviously as well and milligrams and so on but the SI unit for mass in chemistry is grams the concentration is something that we can determine and label a bottle with a specific concentration in moles per cubic decimeter and a gas volume is something that you can also measure in a balloon, a volumetric chamber and so on measured in cubic decimeters which is the same as one liter so let's just look at that V and that V. Both of those V's stand for volume, but this volume is specifically the volume of a solution, an aqueous solution. Most of the time, it's this, the moles of a substance will be dissolved in water. And the volume in this equation is specifically for gas volumes. Do not substitute the volume um, of a solution into this equation. Do not substitute a gas volume into this equation. Right, so let's see how we're going to do these calculations. First example, let's say we have 0 0.5 moles of sodium chloride. What is the mass of the sodium chloride? So if we need to measure that specific mass in a laboratory, what will the mass be that we need to measure? Okay, so what is given, what is being asked? What's given is the number of moles with the symbol N. What's given is the identity of the substance. And from the identity of the substance, we can get the molar mass. The mass per mole. We get this from the periodic table.
The periodic table will always be given to you in a test or an exam. And what is asked? The mass, lowercase m, is asked. So we'll use this equation. First of all, we have the moles. The molar mass we can get from the periodic table. So the molar mass of sodium chloride will be as follows. If you look at the periodic table, there's, for example, the element sodium. The higher number that is given is the molar mass. That is the number of protons. It's the atomic number. It's the number of protons and the number of electrons for a neutral atom. So we want the molar mass. 23 so the mass of one sodium chloride is 23 grams per mole for the sodium plus 35,5 grams per mole for the chloride equals 58,5 grams per mole of sodium chloride. Always be very specific unit and what are we working with. Next. Now we've got that, we want the mass. So our equation Let's quickly calculate that. So if you have half a mole of sodium chloride, the mass on a scale will be 29,25 grams of what? Of sodium chloride. Next example. So we have 250 cubic centimeters, solution of nitric acid with concentration 0 0,1 moles per cubic decimeter. So, how many moles? We have the concentration is given. We have the volume of the solution. It's a solution, so we'll work with this equation. We are not going to use the volume of a gas. We will work with this volume of a solution. Concentration is given. And how many moles of the substance do we have? So how many groups of nitric acid do we have? All right, so we'll use this equation. But wait, before we can use the equation, we need to make sure that everything is in SI units. The SI unit for volume is cubic decimeters. So we need to divide by a thousand to get to cubic decimeters. To convert, remember um, an easy mnemonic is if you start with the massive one, you need to multiply. So if I start with cubic decimeters, the massive one or the larger one, I need to multiply to get to cubic centimeters. Multiply by a thousand. That's the conversion um, factor. And then obviously if you start with a smaller one, divide by the conversion factor. So if I have cubic centimeters, it's the same as a milliliter, need to get to a cubic decimeter. I'll divide by a thousand, which gives me 
0 0.25 cubic decimeters. So the number of moles is equal to the concentration times the volume. If we rearrange that equation, the concentration is 0 0.1 volume is 0 0.25 use the correct unit otherwise the whole calculation is incorrect and do the calculation moles of what nitric acid Right. Next example pertaining to concentration. We still have the same amount of nitric acid with the same concentration, but now we want to figure out what is the mass. What is the mass of the nitric acid that's dissolved in the volume of the solution? So we've got the volume, the total volume of the solution, which is 0 0.25 cubic decimeters. And in the 0 0.25 cubic decimeters is an amount of moles, 0 0.025 moles of nitric acid and it's got a specific mass. The nitric acid dissolved inside the volume has got a specific mass. If we prepare a solution of nitric acid or a salt or a base in the laboratory, you need to be able to measure the mass and then dissolve it in a solution with a specific volume to get a specific concentration um, and in doing so you create a standard solution. So what is the mass of pure nitric acid that we need to, to measure in order to make up a concentration of 0 0,1? There we can actually do the following. We can combine these two equations concentration and mass by doing the following mass and moles moles equal to mass over molar mass so this is equal to moles so we can substitute it in there and we get concentration is equal to mass over the product of volume and molar mass. So this is a combination that we can use here because we've got the volume we have got the identity so we can calculate the molar mass, we've got the concentration, we want to calculate mass. So we've got the concentration, volume, we can calculate the molar mass and we can figure out what the mass in grams will be that of the nitric acid that's needed to prepare a solution of 0 0.25 cubic decimeters with a concentration of 0 0.1 mole per cubic decimeter. Alright, so the molar mass of nitric acid from the periodic table, the mass, the molar mass of hydrogen is 1, plus the molar mass of nitrogen is 14, plus 3 oxygens, 3 times oxygen, which is 16, is equal to... Sixty three grams per mole of nitric acid. Right, substitute everything into your equation. 
The concentration is, let's just rearrange this first. So the mass is equal to concentration times volume times molar mass. So it's equal to 0, 0,1. The volume is 0, 0,25. And the molar mass is 63 grams per mole. Just do that calculation. So the mass is 1,5. And round it to two decimal places, 58 grams of nitric acid. So in other words, if we need to prepare a solution with this concentration of nitric acid, On your scale, you will measure a mass of 1,58 grams of nitric acid and add that to a glass beaker. Fill it up with water to create a solution that is exactly 0, 0,25 cubic decimeters in volume. And then you've created a standard solution with a concentration of 0, 0,1 moles per cubic decimeter. For gas volumes, let's look at an example of that. If I have So I have a certain amount of moles of oxygen. What is the volume that it will occupy? Right, so we know that oxygen at room temperature and pressure is a gas. We have the number of moles. We know that it's oxygen gas. What is asked is the volume that it will occupy. So from this, we can also calculate the molar mass because we know what the identity is of the substance if needed if we need to add, work with the mass of the substance at all. So we'll use this equation remember we are calculating volume but we won't be using that equation with that volume because this is only for solutions. So mole is volume divided by molar volume. The molar volume is a standard of 22,4 cubic decimeters for every single mole of gas at uh, standard temperature and pressure. So the volume will be the number of moles that we have times the molar volume. In other words, if one mole has a volume of 22,4 cubic decimeters, what will the what will the volume be of 0, 0,12 moles of this of this oxygen?
because it's your final answer rounded off to two decimal places if this was not your final answer and you still had to substitute it into a next step then you will not round off here yet but your final answer for the question you round off to two decimal places and it's measured in cubic decimeters for volume and the volume of what? volume of oxygen Because we have the mass, we can also obviously calculate the mass of the oxygen molecules that will occupy a volume of 2,69 cubic decimeters. If we've got the moles, we can calculate the mass. So always just look at what you have and what is being asked. In a following video, I'll cover a calculation regarding the number of moles, individual particles and Avogadro's number.